being that fiber optics is you know a huge thing now that pretty much controls everything and that we use today in technology uh, just not only in cell phones and internet and cable TV but you know of course you know traffic lights uh, cameras they're putting them in ships and airplanes and cars so it's a big thing now and you know we're, we're trying to get in this area students trained on how to you know manage fiber and install fiber so that way they can get a better understanding so that when they go out in the field they make it easier for them to get a job uh, with the certificate and through UNM and, and myself Insight Technology. I thought that fiber optics basically was just about the cables and everything else just learning you know learning hands-on cables but then no it's like learning how to string them up to different poles to different poles how to bring them into the buildings. I saw a flyer up there that had fiber optics is splicing, you know, and it was something that interested me. It caught my eye, and I have a, another relative that's also a lineman, and uh, he kind of pushed me towards this, you know, career. There, there's different um, uh, positions in, in this field. You know, you have testers that just does nothing but testing, you know, so you guys, you might have some guys that, that really enjoys that. But then you got fusion splicers that that's all they do is fusion splice all day. We have also outside plant construction, and that's, that's an area that a lot of guys like, but then again, a, a lot of guys that get intimidated by that because we have to operate big machinery, uh, we gotta climb poles. Um, it's, it's a real physical um, challenge out there because of the, the tools and the equipment that we use is very, very heavy. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a level of different fields. So in this area, you kind of have to kind of have to know it all, you know, because we're so rural, we're so small, but, but then again, if you're out in the bigger cities, they are looking for fiber technicians that just does the construction, that just does the splicing. I generally have at least one, we've we always had one female in all my classes. I had a girl that didn't probably know nothing about the fiber optics, she was just uh, basically jumping from job to job, and she said that she wants to just, just uh, settle down, do something, you know, that's gonna be coming up and technology. What I've noticed about female students, they do take, it seems like they take a little bit more care and pride in their work, I guess. And again, in this line of work, you gotta have really great losses, you know, because we're dealing with signals. And the way we do that is precise cutting, uh, preparation, cleaning, you know, taking, you know, doing everything in a nice orderly fashion. And girls seem to um, just be able to take that part of it and get a better loss than, than a male would. Um, but, you know, even out in the field, I mean, I've seen guys, and, and, and quite honestly, I have seen guys that will be inside doing this and go out in the field, and once they put them hooks on, you know, our hooks and our safety belt to climb poles, they'll come down and say, this ain't for me, and literally walk off the job. But I've seen girls put them belts on and just eat them poles up and get up that pole and, and climb, and they love it. And trust me, females, this is a female world too, you know. Um, I, I encourage any female to get out there. There's a lot of girls that's doing this job. That they're, in this, they're involved in this industry. This would be something that you would really, really want to look into because this don't stop. It keeps going forward. Technology grows. And this is something that the world is really in need of. You can Google fiber optics fusion splicer. You can Google fiber optics testers or, fusion, or fiber optics outside plant construction. You Google that and you will just, it'll just pop up a list of list of fiber optic jobs all around this area. You can narrow it down to Arizona, to New Mexico, to Texas. There's tons and tons of jobs. 